Okay, so now let's work on question 2C, which says use the data in the diagram to determine the amount of potential energy and kinetic energy the snowboarder has at position D. So we're going to calculate potential in red and kinetic in blue. So first things first, we're going to write down what we already know, right? Let's write down our formula one more time that we figured out last time and that we've got up at the top. Potential energy plus kinetic energy equals total energy, right? Potential and kinetic equals total. And then um, if we wanted to find potential energy, our formula would be potential energy equals total energy minus kinetic energy. And if we wanted to find kinetic energy, we would just say kinetic energy equals the total energy minus the potential energy. Easy enough, All right? So, okay, let's actually look at this spot, spot D, right? Couple things I noticed. First things first, right here, we're at the same height as right here. So right here, I've got my potential energy right now the only difference well nope i've got my potential energy and if i'm at the same height my potential energy is going to be the same right so that means that my potential energy since we're at the same height it's going to be thirty thousand joules now let's focus on kinetic energy okay and we'll calculate it even though you could do it the easy way but we'll calculate it just so that you're clear so now I've got my potential energy and I've got my total energy, right? I know that total energy is 50,000 joules. So just a simple plug and chug to get kinetic. Kinetic energy equals 50,000 minus 30,000. Kinetic energy equals... 20,000 joules. Now, I know we could have just looked and said, oh, well, it says 20,000 right here as well. But I just want us to get used to also doing our calculations. So now I can put 20,000 joules here. And I can put 30,000 joules there. All right, and that's how you do it.